Can life science be applied to a social problem? Yes, it can. War. Clicks. Racism. These huge problems in our societies all have this in common. Bully brain. We've all seen or experienced a bully purposefully, repeatedly, hurting another person physically, verbally, or psychologically. Let's see how the behavior of bully and victim creates changes in their brains. A 2008 study by the University of Chicago found that habitual bullies enjoy inflicting pain. Functional MRI scans revealed a link between the aggression of bullies and an inappropriate activation in their amygdala. An area of the brain near the hippocampus, the amygdala controls reward and survival systems. Scans also showed the area of the bully's brains responsible for internal locus of control and self-regulation were inactive. Bullies enjoy causing harm and don't understand limits. Being bullied can get you super stressed out, causing your immune system to malfunction. High levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, can damage and even kill neurons, especially in your hippocampal region. The hippocampus, in the center of your brain, is responsible for transferring your short-term memory to long-term. If these neurons are damaged at an early age, memory issues can make learning difficult. Verbal abuse can literally cause scar tissue to form on the brain, shrinkage, and other deformities. Chronic bullying affects hormones, reduces connectivity in the brain, and sabotages new neurons' growth. The strain of being bullied compromises the victim's immune system and the function and development of their nervous system. Are there any solutions? Yes! Desmond Tutu said, If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. Bullies respond to a power greater than their own and to consequences. So those in authority must step in with consistent consequences and direct the bullies to reprogram their brains by changing their behaviors. Dealing with being bullied, a counselor I interviewed said, you need to tell it, you need to grieve it, but then you need to leave it. Tell the appropriate people, feel your feelings, but don't carry it around with you indefinitely. Protect your brain, whether you are bullying or bullied. You can reverse harmful changes in your brain for good and build a happier, healthier future.